Hey, YouTubers. Lord Darth Vader 1701 here. Um, I got a little project that I'm going to start working on. I'm going to start it on, start working on it uh, sometime this weekend, I'm hoping. Kind of a, it's a, it's a biker project. It's for, it's an accessory thing for the bike. Uh, somebody else had already kind of done it, but, um, the person that did this, uh, that actually made them, uh, I don't know exactly who it was. I'm uh, kind of copying somebody's idea. Um, and again, I hope they don't mind. Uh, I thought the idea was awesome. There was a couple different variations, but basically in a nutshell, this idea right here, and what it is, is a piece of aluminum, um, a flat stock aluminum like this, 3 sixteenths stuff, okay, and um, all they did you know, was clean the corner, the ends up, you know, rounded off the ends, and there's some spacers under here. The screws that hold down, and I'll show you another picture, the screws that hold down the um, steering wheel cover, uh, handlebar cover, um, uh, were replaced with these and the screws they have right now are kind of under a hex head pretty sure I'll, I'll verify that and all that but anyways then they took this ram ball mount half inch ball and you use a um, you know you can use a short one of these you know um, you know a short one of these to uh, um, I don't know if I actually have one. Let me see here. Yes, I do. Uh, you take a short one of these, okay, and you mount it to the aluminum, like so, okay, and your GPS would go on to this, or whatever item you want. Phone, don't have to be, I'm sorry, let me give this up the camera. It goes like this, and then you, you mount this on it, and um, hold it in place here. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Uh, you can actually use it to hold anything you want, you know. Uh, the GPS can go here. Um, and uh, There's other variations of this ram mount, and actually the ram mount that they are using right here is not that one. Now it's actually, the, this ram mount here, this part here actually goes in the GPS holder. Um, yeah, it's part of the GPS holder. Um, this one here, that's just a... Um, this one here, this is a um, ram ball mount also, half inch, and again, they put spacers on it, change these from the flat, it looks like a carriage bolt, basically what it looks like on the bike, they changed it to this, because they had to be longer because of the spacer, and you need to get past the spacer on, you need to get past the plastic here, so, and that's kind of what is, how it's going to look. And I've had a couple of requests making them. Um, so I'm going to make some. Uh, I'm going to make one for me and kind of prototype it, if you will. I got to get the Ram Ball mount. Uh, I don't have one, I don't think. I got to look around my stuff and see if I got one. But, anyways, I'm kind of fact gathering right now. Uh, change the screws. I got to get the screws for it. Um, you know, I, I got these spacers here, but I'm not going to use these. Uh, I'm, these, I think what I'm going to use is I'm going to make aluminum ones like they have. I'm not sure I have enough of these anyways. And I'd have to bore a hole in them anyways because they're not big enough. Um, for the screw, the uh, I think it's either an M5 or an M6 screw. And um, 
So I think I'm going to make my own, and I'm thinking about using some of this rod here. This is half inch aluminum rod. And all I do is just bore a hole in here, cut it, you know, extra length. You know, so I'll cut it so long, you know, probably a half inch or so, and bore the hole in it. And that'll be that'll be the spacers. I'll make a bunch of spacers with this. Um, I gotta take this bar here and uh, basically round off the ends is what's got to happen so I'm kind of looking for something that I'm going to use to actually give me that marker you know to be the the round end here and just grind it off clean it up good you know so that's just a little uh, project that uh, I want to get going on <clears throat> and see how they turn out so <clears throat> Uh, I want to make a little video showing what I've got coming up. Another, I haven't been able to ride yet, so <clears throat> I'm working like crazy. But anyways, I know you got to try to make time, but it just isn't happening this week, or these last couple weeks. But anyhow, that's kind of what Vader's up to right now, and I'll keep very posted. This is part one of the GPS phone bracket mount for the Honda Silverwing. So yes, it is specific, but it's for the Silverwing guys. But anyways, that's it for now. Hey guys. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got to bore, I'm going to bore a hole that is uh, 1764 about maybe up to let's get a marker here up to about here and then uh, once I do that um, it'll be up to here I don't know if you can see that or not uh, I notice it's reversed too well, that's interesting. I don't remember doing that. Anyways, um, and once I bore this hole, I'm going to bore a hole all the way up to here, about a half what you know, almost two inch, an inch and three quarters, and um, then I'll just cut the. Once I got the hole, then I'll, all I do is cut the uh, spacers um, to whatever size you know length I need. So. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run a center on it, a center drill. And bring that thing up to it. And uh, oh, my arm's not in the way. I hope you can see that. Center. Okay, now let's put the drill bit in there. Right. 
first thing I'll do is I'm going to lock this down because once I start, it'll start. Except that the drill bit's actually not spinning. for the drill clean out. spin from the extra rod off the, on the other side. I gotta control the speed a little bit. I don't want that rod flying around in there. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get it in there just as it hits. So just a little bit more. And I'm gonna mark where I'm at. said I wanted to go about an inch. Okay, it's actually uh, almost an uh, inch and three quarters, which is what I said, and I've went about an inch and a half, so almost there. But I'm going to um, uh, 
Uh, stop the machine. Let's get the chips off here. And then I'm going to um, move the tailstock in a little bit because I need more drill length is what I need. Okay, let's lock her in place. All right, let's kick her on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit. in there deep enough where I gotta kinda let it just go at its speed, you know, that it's at. So I don't want that rod back there and the, the length of this rod going crazy on me. And this way I'll get more cut. So I'll get smooth cut. And these again, these are the spacers for that bracket. I'm getting good boring drilling, so catch up a little bit. Spit that stuff out of the flute and the drill. Alright, let's see what she's at. This time. Alright, I'm going to back her out of there. Looks like I only went like a quarter of an inch more. That's okay. That should do it, I think. So I'm gonna. All right, let's get this uh, tail stock out of the way. And a quarter of an inch. If I did, I think each one at a quarter of an inch. That should be plenty, you know. So. It bored, real, it bored real quick, and I've got the screws for it. These are M6s. These are M6s. They're a cap screw. They're an M6 uh, with a 1.0 one pit, one pitch. And that's the size that goes in the bike. Now these are, uh, I think these are 25 or 30 millimeter. I can't remember, but uh, I'm not sure which length I need. I, got, I bought a 20 five and a 30 because I wasn't sure which length I needed so um, by the time I add the spacer on there see that's how the see there'll be a space that'll be the spacer it looks like I need to face that off a little bit but I'll square it up on the um, saw the band the uh, band saw but I wanted to show that first I hope I hope you can see what I was doing there kind of a bad spot I should have went on the other side that's what I should have done but anyways that's um that's part of that project. So this is part two. So that'll be it from Vader for now.